nonetheless as the new truth or the real truth. Have known about all these lies that I was born into. Mind boggling. But I love my mom and my dad. I love all my ancestors because it's a lie that started with those cockazoids when they stole my ancestors and brought them here. But knowing the truth is a wonderful thing because I can say this shit to all y'all. It's a beautiful place to be where I'm at right now. Ooh, it's a beautiful place. Knowing the truth, knowing the truth is the reason why I don't have my teeth in my mouth. I don't have my teeth in my mouth because this is the consequences and repercussions of not taking care of your teeth by not just what you eat, what you put on your teeth. Cause mine was well from eating bad and putting goals in my mouth. But it was the things that I did. So I took my teeth out to be as raw with the truth as I can be with anybody that's listening to me right now. Man, when you sit there and you think about everything in the whole of what's going on right now, it's all because don't no one want to be that middle man. Ain't nothing. And that's the reason why I think that a lot of good things wasn't really said about the good women in that book that I call The Box because it got lead on it. You can get clothes in that book and not with a way to get out of it. But I'm just saying, just thinking about being a middle man in anything and poor little E. Oh, poor little E. You gotta realize, E didn't eat that apple to make Adam eat that apple. Eve got enticed with that apple by that serpent. And it's like I say, any man, woman, devilish man, woman, can captivate you. Yes, it's 526-356-586. John Norfolk. First, 27, 69. And your address, please. 12903 Brent Rock Drive, apartment number 703, Houston, Texas, 77082. And your phone number, 832-208-1498. Yes, ma'am. All right, ma'am, I'm, I'm, I'm inside where I come and get my medication. And... I had a, a a medical lift service to, to to bring me here to get my medication, and I'm still not realizing. I'm really not getting it. Why did they just drop me off? I told them all I need to do is pick my medication up and go back to my house. They dropped me off, and I've been here for at least 30 minutes. But I I know I, I know it take a while. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because when this was set up, they were told that it was a, um, a new call for the return. So they didn't know. They were waiting for you to call them back to let them know when to come back and get them. Oh, well, I, well, I, called, I called about 30 minutes ago to let them know that. Oh, so you did call them? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what I can do is I can give them a call and find out where they're at. Would you like me to do that for you? Yes, ma'am. Can you vote for me while I do that? No problem. And see, you guys, say to you too, again, my brothers and sisters, patience is a virtue. You're going to die soon enough, so why rush it? And I say also, when you think about what you're rushing from, is it worth rushing to get? Because nine times out of ten, you're rushing to make money for things. It's a lot of things. Hello? 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 Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay, this way. Get on down. I'm up again. Where you at? You outside? Yes. 
Okay, I see you now. I see you. I'm coming out right now. So now I'm going inside the taxi cab driver. He's out there to pick me up. But I'm going to put everything on audio while I'm out there. Peace and head grief. This is going out to everything in YouTube. I'm just fucking around with you.